Averaging 33, shooting 50% from the field. He wasn't missing at all early on, as Coach Melrose says. Corner three, LeBron, Lakers lead by one. Let's run. James, are we going to give it up? Why would we? Just step into the three, bury that. Four for four from the floor to get things started. Late going in the first quarter. James hangs and hits. Five for five, 14 points, but the Lakers were down. Hot shooting continued. Another three. Next Lakers possession. Josh Jackson got sick of that. All right, I'm going to make you earn it. Well, or you'll score and go to the line. Seven of seven to start the game. 20 points in the half. Third straight time he's had 20 or more in the first half. But basically his highlights ended right there. On the bench here in the third, Anthony Davis didn't play in this one. Blake Griffin hits a deep two over Wesley Matthews, tying the game at 72. Griffin hits that three, and the Pistons led by four through three. Kyle Kuzma on Griffin. Gets an eye full of three there. Griffin a game high 23. LeBron. Spins at the hoop, misses. Montrez Harrell misses. James had that great start, but couldn't get much at all in the second half. Wayne Ellington, still a professional shooter. James started seven for seven, finished one for 12. Now the Pistons are enjoying themselves. Grant gets a dunk there, and the Lakers had 14 points in the final quarter, their fewest in any quarter over the last two seasons. So losses in back-to-back -back nights. And uh, not long ago, LeBron James sat down to chat about the evening. There's still work to be done. I mean, we still, you know, there's games we play, there's work to be done. We got to continue to get better. And um, you can't really, um, you know, get your mind into the grasp of uh, how many days you've been on the road or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, every team does it. Every team hits a long road trip. And you know, professionals, you know, we got to keep our minds fresh, keep our bodies fresh as much as we can. Um, to go out there and uh, put together a complete 48-minute game, or as close to 48 minutes. So, um, obviously, we haven't done that the last couple of games, um, and uh, we just got to be better on Saturday. Just basketball-wise, did you notice anything about that second half, the, the biggest thing that stood out? Uh, I mean, I think Detroit played extremely well tonight, and then we didn't play well. We didn't play well at all. Um, like, our legs got to us a little bit on the second half of a back-to-back. Um, so, um, you know, that was a result of it. Dan? Hey, LeBron. Um, you, you, me you mentioned the legs. I mean, you got off to such a hot start in this game. Is that kind of what you think turned for you tonight? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, you know, I think early on I got it going. Um, and then I, I, I still, at the end of the day, still got to get my teammates involved. Um, you know, even with my scoring early, um, you know, we, we didn't have uh, many, you know, assists and things of that nature. So I want to try to implement my guys, get my guys involved in the game. And um, I definitely missed some shots that, I'm, that I know I'm accustomed to making, but it had nothing to do with my legs. Some of the key stats from the box score. Pistons 10 and 20 from the floor in the final quarter. Lakers started well. Pistons ended well. Teams had nearly the same number of turnovers. Detroit capitalized far more often. It really comes down to 14 in the fourth. Pistons started slow, got a couple of decent wins this week. Uh, we, we mentioned it earlier while we showed you the USC highlight. The thing about a moose is it's really fast for how big it is. Hippos as well. Uh, as for the moose, Trojans favored by 12 and a half in an afternoon jump with Oregon State. This was single digits most of the way. I think that meme has pretty much been run its course. Again, Oregon State They've been hanging around pretty much all game long. You're getting 12 and a half. You're now down 10. Oh, you could feed the post. Uh-oh. Oh, you're down 11 after that free throw. That's what I thought. Thank you. All right, so now we have a shot clock scenario. We saw that in Bad Beats the other night. Do you shoot it? Do you not shoot it? Well, USC will shoot it. You don't have to. Oh, they make the putback. Isaiah White puts it back in. The cover play. We need the cover play. Just take it to the rim. Oh. Or Zach Reichel. We need that one, Zach. Need that one. You're 
You're, you're right there. The whole game, except except the no. end. Except the end. Whoever gets us in the building and keeps us safe. Clips without Patrick Beverly, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard. Heat without Goran Dragic and Jimmy Butler. Tyler Hero active after the previous seven. Heat feeling it early on. Duncan Robinson. Gabe Vincent. Huh? Yeah. Kelly Olynyk. The clinic. This continues my personal streak of nights where I say, what the hell are these jerseys that somebody's wearing? I don't understand what's happening. That's Vincent with another. Heat 8 of 13 from deep in the quarter. Third quarter of the season, the Heat have made at least eight or more threes. <clears throat> Tied for second behind only the Bucks. Heat had a big lead. That lead is evaporating because the Clippers begin hitting threes. Nicholas Batum. You don't like the Miami Vice jerseys? It's just, it's it's a little extra. Jackson hits the three, Batum hits another three. They made nine threes in the third, their most in any quarter this season. Look like sweet tarts or now and laters or something, right? I don't know. Clippers have a big lead. Now here comes the heat. Bam out of bio, finishing at the rim. Time out, time out, time out. Clippers don't have any. Technical makes the lead five. We're under 30 seconds to go. Adebayo takes it to the rim. Inbounds to Jackson, who gets fouled. So after calling a timeout, they don't have. You get a chance to make things right. Missed the first, makes the second. And it ends up being enough for the Clippers to hang on and win by four. Miami 6-12. and 12. That's the third worst start through 18 games by a team coming off an NBA Finals in the last 20 years. Only last season's Warriors, who had some extenuating circumstances, and the 2018-19 Cavaliers, ditto, started worse. Both those teams finished with fewer than 20 wins by season's end. Miami will figure this out. Yeah, they've had, they've had guys out too. I was going to say, they have played. Exactly. Jimmy Butler, yeah. when he gets back, it'll make quite a difference. Rockets have won three straight, longest winning streak of the season, hosting the Blazers' Dame Lillard, averaging more than 33 per game without C.J. McCollum. Lillard, early lead for the Blazers of double digits. Lillard's 11th shot this season made from 30 feet or more, Ooh. pulling from the... N in H Town. Oh. Remember Anthony Dillard used to shoot from the yeah, hogs in Arkansas. Arkansas back in the day? That was back when people didn't shoot from like half court as a <laughs> as sort of just a, a routine thing. Rockets really good defense. Five turnovers in the second quarter. A force five, I should say. They outscored the Blazers 15 to 2 on fast break points. Defense got the Rockets back in the game. After they trailed by 20, they had a three-point lead at the half, thanks to Defense turning into offense. Christian Wood can go. He sure can. Can't be a